Before we dive into the statement, it is important to first understand what particle accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets. It is the world's largest and most powerful particle smasher, representing the peak of human scientific achievement. In fact, it's so powerful that it could recreate the conditions of the first moments of the universe. Yet could this machine designed to uncover the secrets of the universe hold the key to something much more? CERN, founded in 1954, is one of the world's most renowned research organizations. With 23 member states and countless scientists, it is a center for collaboration and development. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it is just one part of a vast network of particle accelerators and experiments. Imagine a course not for vehicles or planes, but for subatomic particles in a test of expertise, perseverance, and even the fabric of space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that replicates the energy of the universe at the moment of the Big Bang. These effects create temperatures many times hotter than the core of the sun. An array of magnets guides the protons on their journey, while complex cooling systems maintain temperatures colder than space. The beam inside the LHC is designed to crash at four locations around the accelerator ring corresponding to the positions of four particle detectors. Atlas CMS Alice and LHCB. Each detector has a unique purpose investigating different aspects of particle physics. Together, these detectors act as colossal cameras capturing images of these collisions. Researchers then sift through the debris, looking for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other anomalies that may reveal the universe's fundamental building blocks. By focusing on the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm of the universe. However, with each answer comes another question, and with every discovery, another test arises. The LHC is not just a scientific instrument. It is a demonstration of human curiosity and progress. It embodies our relentless drive for knowledge and our desire to understand the key forces that shape the universe. However, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of exploring the unknown? Could our quest for understanding unintentionally unleash forces beyond our control? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the limits of human knowledge are constantly tested, a revelation has emerged that has left even the most prepared scientists uneasy. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and an expert in particle physics, recently made a statement that both captivated and unsettled the world. His words resonate with chilling clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a small-scale Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. Cox also discussed the implications of this objective, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for making groundbreaking discoveries, such as unlocking the secrets of the Higgs boson and exploring dark matter, a mysterious substance that constitutes much of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to conjure the very essence of the universe. It's an alluring prospect, but one fraught with risk. The miniaturized Big Bang is not a hypothetical concept. It is a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, pressures, and raw energy inside the LHC replicate the conditions that existed at the birth of the universe. It is like standing at the dawn of history, witnessing the birth of existence itself. However, with such power comes immense responsibility. The question remains. What if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go terribly wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a catastrophe that would forever alter the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia, a misfire caused a proton beam to strike him directly. The beam passed through his skull, entering the back of his head, and exiting through his nose. Despite the horrific injury, Bugorsky remained conscious, even walking to a treatment center. His intellectual faculties remained intact, though the beam caused localized tissue damage leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. 
This incident serves as a stark reminder of the immense power and potential dangers of particle accelerators. The risks associated with a particle smasher like the LHC are not to be underestimated. The potential for unexpected reactions or for altering the very fabric of existence is not just the stuff of science fiction, but real concerns voiced by respected scientists. One of the most disturbing and intriguing concerns related to the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. These cosmic entities are like vacuum cleaners devouring stars and other matter-mysterious forces lurking in the depths of the universe. The idea that the LHC could potentially create such an entity even on a small scale is staggering to both the public and scientists alike. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, eventually consuming the Earth from within? Scientists at CERN have assured the public that any black hole created would be unstable and disappear quickly. Nevertheless, this remote possibility has sparked fear, speculation, and awe at the power we wield. Understanding how the LHC could create a black hole involves the basic principles of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so enormous that it bends the fabric of space-time itself. Think of a trampoline stretched tight, then dropping a heavy object onto it. The fabric bends, and if the object is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. This is a simplified analogy for what could happen at the LHC, where in the realm of quantum physics the laws of the universe behave in strange and wondrous ways. There is a theory that extra dimensions may exist within our reality, hidden from view. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's experiments could tap into them, creating a gravitational well that forms a small black hole. This strange behavior has caught the attention of some prominent scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, Hawking warned that the Higgs boson could become unstable at extremely high energy levels leading to catastrophic vacuum decay, an event that would not just destroy the Earth, but could potentially destroy the entire universe. Sir Martin Rees, a renowned English cosmologist and astrophysicist, also expressed concerns about experiments at CERN. In his book Our Final Hour, he described a worst-case scenario where a failed experiment could create vacuum instability, triggering a phase transition that would ripple through space-time, potentially engulfing the entire universe. Rees assigned a low probability to these disastrous outcomes, but he argued that even a small possibility should be taken seriously. The stakes are extraordinarily high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The researchers at CERN have run simulations, analyzed theories, and taken every precaution to ensure the safety of the LHC. Brian Cox himself has acknowledged the widespread concerns surrounding the LHC and emphasized that rigorous safety measures are in place. Comprehensive reviews and protocols ensure that the LHC's operations are conducted with the utmost attention to detail. Cox reassured the public that the energies involved are well within the natural range of the Earth's environment, and the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were created, scientists say, it would be so tiny and unstable that it would dissipate quickly in a burst of energy a phenomenon known as Hawking radiation. It would be a brief moment of cosmic wonder, a fleeting glimpse into the abyss, and then it would be gone. Some have speculated that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. While this idea is largely dismissed by mainstream scientists, it has captured the public's imagination and become the subject of fear, myth, and fascination. What could lie beyond our universe? Could we inadvertently unleash forces or entities that we do not fully understand? The idea of opening a doorway to hell has been sensationalized in the media, further fueling uncertainty. But how did this notion arise, and what does it mean in terms of scientific exploration? The concept of extra dimensions is not new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, suggests that there may be more dimensions beyond the usual three of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, yet could theoretically be accessed under extreme conditions. 
Imagine the LHC as a cosmic key unlocking doors that have been sealed since the dawn of time. When protons crash with energies never before achieved on Earth, they could create ripples that probe these hidden dimensions. If these dimensions exist, the LHC could reveal them. However, it is important to note that while the LHC is undeniably powerful, there is no conclusive evidence to suggest it will open a portal to another universe, let alone to hell itself. Nonetheless, the allure of the unknown combined with the mysterious nature of quantum physics continues to captivate the public's imagination. The LHC's experiments, while grounded in rigorous science, have inadvertently become a lightning rod for existential fears and philosophical debates. The public fascination with the idea of opening portals, creating black holes, or even accidentally unraveling reality itself stems partly from humanity's tendency to mythologize what we don't fully understand. Stories of uncontrolled experiments and unintended consequences are woven into our collective consciousness, reflecting our awe and trepidation in the face of progress. In truth, the LHC represents one of the most controlled and monitored scientific ventures in human history. Its operations are guided by decades of theoretical work, meticulous planning, and international collaboration. Yet the enormity of the questions it seeks to answer about the origins of mass, the nature of dark matter, and the potential existence of extra dimensions inevitably leads to philosophical musings that science alone cannot settle. The Ethical Frontier As the LHC pushes the boundaries of human knowledge, it raises fundamental ethical questions. Should we explore phenomena we barely understand? How do we weigh the potential benefits of discovery against the risks of unintended consequences? What responsibilities do scientists bear when delving into realms that could potentially alter our universe? These questions are not new. Throughout history, every major leap in science has been accompanied by a mix of excitement and apprehension. The splitting of the atom, for example, brought both the promise of limitless energy and the horror of nuclear weapons. Similarly, genetic engineering has offered breakthroughs in medicine while sparking fears of unintended consequences and ethical dilemmas. The LHC, as a symbol of modern scientific ambition, stands at a similar crossroads. While its potential to deepen our understanding of the universe is unparalleled, its experiments also demand that we confront the limits of our control over nature and the ethical implications of venturing into the unknown. The balance between fear and progress. Despite the speculative risks, the overwhelming consensus among scientists is that the LHC is safe. The energy levels it generates, while immense on a human scale, are still minuscule compared to the forces at play in the natural universe. High energy collisions similar to those in the LHC occur naturally in cosmic events, such as supernovae and cosmic ray interactions with Earth's atmosphere, without catastrophic consequences. Furthermore, the rigorous safety reviews conducted by CERN and independent panels have consistently affirmed that the LHC poses no significant threat to humanity or the planet. While concerns about black holes, vacuum decay, or other exotic phenomena make for compelling headlines, they are firmly in the realm of theoretical improbabilities rather than practical realities. Nevertheless, the LHC's work reminds us that progress and uncertainty often go hand in hand. It challenges us to confront our fears of the unknown while embracing the potential for discovery. It is a testament to humanity's dual nature, our capacity for boundless curiosity and our tendency to worry about what lies beyond our grasp. Looking ahead, as the LHC continues its experiments, its legacy will likely be shaped not only by the scientific discoveries it enables, but also by the broader questions it raises about humanity's role in the cosmos. What does it mean to hold the power to recreate the conditions of the universe's birth? How do we ensure that such power is wielded responsibly? And what will we do with the knowledge we gain? The discoveries made at the LHC have already transformed our understanding of the universe. The confirmation of the Higgs boson, for example, was a monumental achievement that validated decades of theoretical work and cemented the standard model of particle physics as one of the most successful scientific frameworks ever developed. Yet the LHC's true potential lies in what it has yet to uncover. Will it reveal the nature of dark matter, which makes up much of the universe, 
yet remains invisible to us? Will it uncover evidence of extra dimensions providing insights into the very fabric of reality? Or will it stumble upon phenomena so unexpected that they force us to rewrite the laws of physics?